Hi hey everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a review video, as you probably already know by the title. But I'm going to try to add um, some triggers into it to make it a little less reviewy. <laughs> um, but yeah, this uh, company sent me an email and said, "Hey, we'd like to send you this product for you to." try out and uh, in return we'd like you to do a review review video on it so it's like so I looked at you know checked out the product looked it over and stuff and said yeah I'll be I want to try something like that out anyway so sure send it to me I'll, I'll review it so and link wake up light um, very little info on the box but I think as you can see, um, it's basically a light alarm clock that lights up in the morning to simulate sunrise, essentially, to help you wake up easier. Um, so, let's take a look at it. But since this is a uh, ASMR video, let's make sure we review it properly. inside your gloves. Make sure they're safe to put on. So that's what sometimes I like to you know, take, take a quick peek in there, make sure it all looks good. It's safe for my hand, you know. I don't wanna... Gotta really get the flashlight in there sometimes and really That finger seems okay. What do you think? All right. Yeah. I think they'll work. What about this one? Is that one okay? Okay. I think they're safe to put on. Okay. I think we have it. Now, as you see, I have it plugged in. So you can see the time, temperature in the room, and humidity. Those are some features I actually like about this, is the temperature and humidity. I think it's kind of nice knowing what the temperature is in the bedroom. No reason other than I just like to know. Um, so, as uh, primarily as a uh, alarm clock, you have your time and you can set the time for your alarm and whatnot, just like any other alarm clock. Now. We'll get on to that later, but let's uh, talk about let's talk about how uh, some of the other features it has. Uh, one of the other features it has is it is also a radio. Um, Somehow, there, it's, it'll scan through channels until it finds something, and then it'll play it, and then just hit the button again, and it'll start scanning for the next station, 
and as you can see, I'm in an area where there's not a lot of radio stations. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't even know what it'll pick up. Obviously, the only antenna is just the dangling right here. It's not. If I put it out the window and put it up higher, it'd probably get better. Something or other, but yeah. So, as you can imagine, I don't. I don't really listen to the radio around here. There's only a couple stations that actually come in. So, that being said, I haven't really played with the radio other than just now. So, it probably works fine. Um, especially if you're in an area with good reception. Uh, another feature it has is a USB port on the back of it, which is nice because uh, I plugged this into the same spot I normally plug my phone charger into. Um, and then I was still able to plug my phone charger into the USB port on this. So my phone was still able to charge, which is nice. Um, another feature it has, I need to change my gloves for this one. So let's do that. Let's just set this down right here. Because things are about to get a little more interesting. I think I should check this one. I don't think you'll be able to see anything. Ooh, look at that. Well, I think it's pretty safe. I can see most of the way down inside it. mood lighting which essentially just trans it just fades through these different colors on its own and I don't know if I can make it go any faster can I make it go faster? I think I can oh no that's just a regular light oops get the mood lighting back on now if I wanted to say stop at a certain color, I can hit the button again and it'll hold it there on that green for me. Interesting. Potentially interesting light. You know. Turn off the other light. Let that cycle. Should I get up and turn it off? I don't know. Set that there. And now let's try it. Okay. Play with this 
display it a little bit, huh? Quite works nice as a flashlight, does it? So there's that. Um, the other thing you can do is just turn the light on to have a light in the room, and you can. I think it's as dim as it goes. You can make it brighter. And while I'm doing that, it is pretty bright. But while I'm while I was making that brighter, you may have been able to notice one of my issues with it. And that is As you make it brighter or dimmer, it beeps every single time you hit a button. Now, if you have no one else in your house, that might not be a problem. But me, coming home, or not, not so much coming home late, but going to bed late, um, and my wife's already in bed asleep, It'd be nice to be able to just go in and hit this light button. Yeah, okay, so this is sitting on my nightstand. Let's get my nightstand set up here. This is sitting on my nightstand. I come in and go, I want to go to bed, but I don't want to wake my wife up. So I walk over and feel around and find my little light here and hit that button. Oh, she wakes up because I beeped. Not so good. And I cannot find any way to turn that beeping off. At all. Um, additionally, the buttons are hard to find. So, and the other thing is, I don't know if, say I crank this all the way down so it's on the light, lowest setting. If I shut the light off, if I turn it back on again, oh, it is on the lowest setting. Okay. But say it was bright because I was reading the night before, I turned it off. And I come in, boom, it's bright, no good. So it'd be nice if you could set the default turn on brightness without having to do that a million times. Um, or even the color of it, because it does have this orangier color, which is a little easier. It's not quite as bright. And, uh, It is 54 in here now. Um, and you can set the different alarms. Um, I'm not sure what else. Let, let's see. Let's check this. It says it's 54 in here. Let's see what the laser says. Let's start with... Says you're 62. It's telling me the face of this thing is 60 degrees. Now the temp sensor is back here in the back. It says the temp. The, the, you can't read that. You can't see that, can you? No. It says it's 55. And this was saying 
5, so it's pretty close. It's not too far off. And I'm not saying this thing is super accurate either. So, but that's not too bad considering. something for you that like the laser. Can we look at the different numbers? Let's move on. I'm gonna try setting the time on this. And let's hear the alarm. Let's say it's saying 1046. So let's Oops. That's what it looks like in the morning. I don't know why it's not coming on on its own. But that is what it looks like. Which is somewhat bright. It's not super bright. But um, color wise, yeah, okay, I can get it sunlight. Um, I will say for me, it does not work. Um, I do not wake up easy. I am a very deep sleeper. Uh, and so it takes a lot to wake me up. Um, this doesn't, that music that I was playing doesn't wake me up. Uh, the light doesn't help. That was what I was really hoping would 
maybe change it for me is um, the light because I was thinking maybe maybe the light would help me wake up as opposed to just the sound but that wasn't the case so oh by pushing the light manually it'll do this light and then it'll after like 15 minutes or something it'll shut off or dim down or whatever um, so you can use that at night to go to sleep um, but yeah, I think I've pretty much covered everything about it. I'll give you a little story about why this thing will never wake me up. Uh, when I was little, 10, 11, somewhere in there, um, you could see the fire station from my parents' house. That's how close it was. Uh, and the house next door to us burned down. And you obviously you could hear the, the siren from the fire station and that fire station responded as well as a couple other towns in the area I think there's a total of seven fire trucks went by my parents house and parked obviously next door and in front of my parents house and sirens all going when they showed up and everything um, it got to the point where they almost were ready to suck the water out of my parents pool um, and, uh, they didn't end up doing that, but anyway, it was a total loss, the whole house to the ground. And, uh, I woke up the next morning, went out, I was like, where'd the house go? <laughs> um, no, no idea, nothing, I did not wake up at all, no idea. So, uh, it takes quite a bit to wake me up. Uh, like, I use my alarm clock on my phone, and actually the alarm that I have, uh, changes, it like randomly changes between different, um, alarm noises, like alarm clocks, sirens, horns, all sorts of stuff, like randomly between them, and it gets louder and louder and louder the, the farther it goes. Um, there's that music, uh. But anyway, so, I was hoping the light would help. Uh, it doesn't really seem to help too much for me. Uh, there's another little... I'm not sure why the light came on at the time. But anyway, I don't like the buttons either. Um, not only do they make that beeping sound anytime you hit a button, but also... They're not easy to find. It's like when you're half asleep and you're trying to find that button to either shut the alarm off or hit the snooze button type of thing. The snooze button is like a middle button in between these little groups of three. I'm trying to see, see it. See, there's three buttons there. And that's all they are. It's just these sets of three buttons for all the different functions. So they all feel the same. So you just had to know it was like this, like set over here, and try to figure out where that middle one was. Um, most alarm clocks have a big button on the top for the snooze. Um, I actually had an alarm clock once, a long time ago, that had f the feet were the button for the snooze. So anywhere you hit on top of it, push the feet, and that was the snooze. So anyway, so it's fairly inexpensive. It's um, the product itself, I don't see. I don't have any complaints with the quality of construction or um, it works. It does what it's supposed to do. Um, those are just some of my quirks that I think should be changed in the next version. If they make another version, is that beeping? Make it make it so there's a little switch I can silence the beeping of the buttons or something. Um, Put an actual snooze button on the top of it. That's about it. Um, obviously, my guess is they probably make a more expensive version that like connects to your phone or something. But um, I'll leave a link to this one in the description if it's something you want to try out. Um, so there it is.
band link wake up light. How else did I? And then, hopefully, a little bit of gloves. A little, tiny, tiny little bit of light I put in there. It'd be nice. Um, so this this part of the this thing might make more appearances. I do like the different color light, and it's much it's a much softer light than I usually use. So you'll have to tell me if it works or not. see it's getting colder out here oh oh because my hand is right next to the sensor <laughs> it was weird that it got warmer right when I was saying it was getting colder see my breath so and I'm out of fuel for my heater right at the moment so I think I'm done recording for the night let me know what you thought and if I should do other reviews I do like that the different colored lights that's cool I could probably incorporate that into something somehow but anyway let me know what you thought I know everybody liked these thoughts in the last video. They do have a good sound on them.